The Great Fire of London. The Great Fire of London was a major conflagration that swept through the central parts of London from Sunday, second of the second of September to Thursday, the sixth of September, sixteen sixty six. The fire gutted the medieval city of London inside the old Roman city wall. A man who lived at the time kept a diary that has been well preserved. You can read it in both. He was a clerk to the Royal Navy who observed the fire. He recommended to the king that builders were pulled down. Many thought it was the only way to stop the fire. The mayor was ordered to use fire hooks to pull down burning buildings, but the fire continued to spread. People forced to evacuate their homes, chose to bury or hide what valuables they couldn't carry. Pepe's himself buried his expensive cheese and wine and carted his other belongings off to Bethlehem Green. Monday 3rd of September 1666 About 4 o'clock in the morning, my lady batter sent me a cart to carry away all my money and plates. Best things to Sir Derek, riders at Bednor Green, which I did ride on myself in my nightgown in the cart and lord to see how the streets and the highways are crowded with people running and riding and getting of carts at any rate to fetch away things. How did they put out the Great Fire of London? Pepe spoke to the Admiral of the Navy and agreed they, which they should blow up houses in the path of the fire. The hope was that by doing this, they would create a space to stop the fire spreading from houses to houses. The Navy, which had, which had been using gunpowder at the time, carried out their request and the fire was mostly under control by Wednesday the 5th of September 1666. However, small fires continued to break out uh, and the ground remained too hot to walk on for several days afterwards. Pepe recorded in his diary that even the King Charles, it was seen helping to put out the fire. Henry Dow, Samuel Pepe, is on the 5th September 1666. Lord, what a sad sight! It was by moonlight to see the whole city almost fire on fire, that you might see it plain at Woolwich as if you were by it. London had to almost totally reconstruct it. Temporarily, buildings were erected that were ill equipped. Diseases spread easily and many people died from this and the harsh winter that followed the fire. As well as lost life, the financial costs were staggering. 13,200 houses, 87 parish churches, the Brew Exchange Guildhall and St. Saint, Saint Paul Cathedral built during the Middle Ages was totally destroyed. The costs were estimated at 10 million.